G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And yesterday was Chardonnay Day. It was. Did you drink a Chardonnay? I did. <laughs> not often I kind of just get a Thursday night and say, you know what, it's a Thursday, I need a Chardonnay. Chardonnay, but it was Chardonnay but Day. But it was Chardonnay so. Day. So you've got to, you know, follow with the theme. And <laughs> speaking of the theme, one of the best Chardonnays in Australia at the moment is definitely the Penfolds Bin A. So... Each year we get a different vintage of it. We've had the 07A, the 08A, the 09A is the current release of it. Um, and luscious in, <laughs> in a word. Now, there's arguments at the very top end of Chardonnay in Australia. Who does the best? Is it the Giaconda? Is it the Lewin Art Series? Is it Penfold's Yatana? You could quite comfortably make an argument that this, the 09A, the Bin A series, is Australia's best Chardonnay. That's a big call when you say even Penfolds do one more expensive, but money comes into that equation, and this is the cheapest of all of those that I've mentioned. Mm. At 90 odd dollars, it's not cheap, but it is an awesomely good wine, and has been for the last three, four years now. Each year when the super premium icon luxuries come out from Penfolds, the one that kind of sneaks in under the radar is the Bin A. There's lots of expensive wines in that release, including Grange and St Henri and 707 we did last week. But the Bin A at under 100 bucks is punching well above its weight. Now, 90 bucks isn't cheap for a bottle of wine, <laughs> but if you've got the Spondulies available in the Skyrocket, hit into one of those because they are rippers. Yeah, look, it, we talk about it each year, but these are super premiums and they're well worth putting away for a little time. Definitely. Now, going to something that's a little bit more affordable now, over to Margaret River, one of my favourite little regions, and uh, and this is from Vas Felix. Now, Vas Felix, again, they do some super premium stuff that's quite expensive, but this one's not. Uh, this is their Cabernet Merlot, and this is really sort of, I guess, their entry level, if you like, and it comes in at just a touch under $20. Now... This wine, this is the Cabernet Merlot blend. The last three vintages of this, one after the other, have been absolute pearlers. So we started with 07, then we had 08, and this 09 is kind of like this trilogy of great vintages in, in Margaret River. And you're getting top quality Cabernet, a little bit of Merlot in there as well, just to round it out, and you're getting it for under $20. And, um, and the thing I like about this wine is because you can step up in class, pay a few more dollars, but if you're looking for something just to sneak in on the weekend or maybe even midweek, uh, for under $20, Margaret River Cabernet is, is sensational. So, Vas Felix, doing good work. We do love the Vas Felix work. Cab Merlot, great blend. Um, speaking of great blends, one of my favourites is the Shiraz and Grenache blend. Sometimes with a dash of Merverger in there to make things even more interesting. This is the Paxton AAA. Now, Paxton Vineyards down in McLaren Vale. Shiraz Grenache blends for me. The reason I love them is because they've got a bit of weight and a bit of balls behind them, but at the same time, there's a little bit of jamminess and a little bit of leather, and in this, a little bit of sea breeze on the back end. Um, they're great wines for drinking now. As I say, there's a little bit of kind of development time that you could give them, but right now, lovely. Um, such a great quaffing wine with a wood-fired pizza or a Shiraz Grenache. Really, seriously, try that if you haven't done it already. And the Paxton AAA at, what, 20 ish dollars? Yeah, you know, a really good Friday night you can have there. A nice prosciutto or a, uh, yeah, a Napoli wood-fired pizza. And the AAA, a great night in. Mm -hmm. There's actually a few good coming out of McLaren Vale, the Shiraz, Shiraz Grenache. Yeah. Paxton doing good. We love that. Anyhow, thanks for joining us this week on Wine Week. We'll see you all again next week. See you next week.